Section 5-9, factoring patterns, ax squared plus bx plus c. <laughs> Objective to factor general quadratic trinomials with integral coefficients. What we're doing is a new thing here is we're going to have some number here in front of the x squared. See what I'm saying? A number. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Some sort of number. What kind of integer? That's what I'm saying. Integral. <laughs> Talking about integers. All right. So we're going to learn how to factor this out. It's going to be very similar to before, but we're going to have to factor this out and factor this out and see how they're going to combine to make this dude. That's the puzzle. All right, here we go. The key to factoring, always, always, to factor a trinomial is to look at the sign of the constant term. When it's negative, you know the factors will have different signs. Bing, bing, ding, ding. When it's positive, it becomes a lot easier because the factors will have the same sign, and the sign that they'll have will be whatever the sign of the middle term. So when, the, when, the, when that C term, when I'm talking about the constant term, I'm talking about this guy here, all right? When this guy's positive, I look what's in front of this guy, and that tells me what both factors are. When this guy's negative, it gets a little bit more complicated. So we'll deal with the negatives first, and then we'll do a um, positive one. But before you do it, pay attention. You must, if there is a negative sign in front of the quadratic term, meaning if this term here with the x squared on it, this is negative something x squared. You need to factor out a negative one and then take care of business, okay? So what it's saying is you, what, what I'm saying is, is you must factor out the negative one. If the quadratic term is negative, do that first and then take care of business. All right, here we go. So let's factor this guy out. Um, let's look at this one. This method is similar to what was before. However, now we need to take care of this term too. I factor this out in all the ways it can. It can be x times 2x, 2 times x squared, 1 times 2x squared. These two are not options, and they pretty much won't be um, really at the, this point. Um, but if you look, the reason why these are not options, 2 and x squared, is because the middle term is an x, which means it needs to pick an x up from here and from here. So that gives us the clue that there must be an x here and here. So the only way I can do it is this, x and 2x. All right. Now I look at the factors of negative 9. Um, I know what they are. Um, when I'm doing these things, I need to do the complete U. Meaning we used to just stop, do 1 times 9. Sorry, not 2. 3 times 3 and then stop because we had them all. I need to keep going up until I get that 9 times 1. Right? And I need to write this twice because this is negative 9. I don't know if my negative is here. And I don't know if my negative is... here. So I need to make sure I list it both ways. Okay? Does that make sense? Alright, cool. So, now I check. What I need to do is, I'm going to, there are one, two, three, four, five, six possibilities because there's only one possibility for this first term. So I write it, um, I fill this in, I know the first term's x, 2x, and I'm not, I'm just not sure about this, which pair of these is going to make my 7x, so I put them all in, plus 9, minus 1, oh, my, whoops, minus 1, plus 9, it doesn't matter, but I'm just going to try to keep it like here, so minus 1, plus 9, minus 3, plus 3, minus 9, plus 1, plus 1, minus 9, plus 3, minus 3, and plus 9, minus 1, and which of these will give me that 7x? So I look, negative 2x and plus 9. Oh, look how nice that is. It ends up being the first one. But notice, none of these ones will work. Negative 6x and 3x. Negative 18x and, ne and 1x. 2x and negative 7. I mean, negative 9. 6x and negative 3. 18x and negative 1. The only one that works is this one, but you do check them all. all right? So there it is. So what's it going to look like? There. I'm done. Let's try it again. Look how it is when we have a positive. When it's positive, it becomes a lot easier. A lot easier, man. Because what happens is we know that they're both going to have the same sign, and you know they're both going to be negative. So when I factor this 5, it's nice because the only possibility is because 5 is prime, is negative 1, negative 5, or negative 5, negative 1. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one it's going to be. So there's two possibilities with this guy, but there's also two possibilities with this guy. So altogether, each of these, we're going to put with each of these. So I'm going to start, I'm going to do x and 14x, x and 14x. For each, one for each of these. Then there's 2x and 7x I'm going to put here for each of these also. So let's put them in. Negative 1, negative 5, negative 5, negative 1, negative 1, negative 5, negative 5, negative 1. Now let's check which ones work. What do I have here? 
negative 14 and negative 5 is negative 19. No, nope. negative something really big like 70 and that's not going to work. How about this one? 7, negative 7, negative 10. This one works. And this one won't, negative 35 and negative 2. So there's only one that works. I found it and there's my solution. There's my factored form um, of that trinomial. See? Now let's go over here. We got another negative guy. Look at this. Oh man. But notice it's not, we want to put these things in the order. We're going to switch this order. I'm going to put it in order of decreasing, um, uh, decreasing degrees. So we're going to start with negative 6x squared and then plus 11x plus 10. Now remember the rule. Oh, when we notice, remember we don't want this net to be negative. So I'm going to factor a negative 1 out and rewrite it as 6x squared minus 11x minus 10. Right? So now I look, what are my factors of 10? What can they be? Well, here's my 10. I can write it as 1, 10, 2, 5, not 3, 4, 5, 2, and 10, 1. So that's, I went all the way around. And I'm not sure if the negative's here, or I have to write this whole thing down again. 1, 10, 2, 5, 5, 2, 10, 1. Or is my negative sign over here? Now I look at my first term. What are the options of this guy? I know it's going to be an xx, so it's either x times 6x, 2x times 3x, or that's it. Because we don't reverse the order on these ones. We're just going to put them here. We took care of the different possibilities here. Um, so it's either 1x times 6x, or 2x times 3x. Now the problem is, is each one of these I have to try for all of these guys, right? So we're, but we're searching for the middle term. And we know how we get to middle term. It's the rainbow, right? It's the inner and the outer. So I know that I have to try x, 6x with all of these. And I know I need to try 2x, 3x with all of these. So I'm, going to I'm just going to pretend that these guys are already over here, right? And I can do my inner outer. That makes sense? Right? So my inner is going to be this, because if that negative 1 came over, it would be here. My, this 10 would be here. So I say, all right, let's see. Negative 6 and 10 doesn't work. Negative 12 and 5 doesn't work. I want a negative 11. Negative 30 and 2, no. Negative 60 and 1, no, right here. 6 and negative 10, no. 12 and negative 5, no. Third, now I'm getting really big positive numbers. That's not going to work. Let's go back to this one now. Let's try 2 and 3, right? Negative 3 and 20, no, almost. Negative 6 and 10, no negative 15 and 4, ooh, negative, no, 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 ne I got negative 15 and 4, notice, negative 15 and 4, I'm going to close because negative 15 and 4 is negative 11, I want that positive 11, negative 30, 2, no, 3, negative 20, no, 6x, negative 10, no, 15, negative 4. Look at that. 15, negative 4. That gives me my... Oh, sorry. I was looking at this one. I was right up here. Negative 15 and 4x because I want that. I want this guy. These are the pair I want. So I know it's going to be negative 5 plus 2. I was looking at this guy by accident. I was looking at... So now I have this times negative 1. There it is. I found my pair. Whoops. Kind of got out of line there. All right. So let's check this last one. 5a, the only options for a, uh, for 5 are 5a and a. So it's going to be 5a and a in all of these. And then all of these are the options because it's, it's the, all of these are going to be the options for this. Remember, we're not sure if this is negative or this is negative. So I check with 5a and a, right? I go, which one's it going to be? Ready? I can put them all in there. Negative 1, 22. Negative 2, 11. And I can go straight through, all right? And that's how you do it. And this last one, you've got a lot more options because look at this crazy one. Okay? You have all of these options for here and these two options from here. So you take all of those and plug them in all of those and finally find your answer. Oh my 